do a poke check, let's come along. And Virgin 104 Lima, contact ground on 121 decimal 905. Delta 1, clear to land, 0, 9 left, 0, 3, 0, 5 knots. 9 left, clear to land, Delta 1. Good morning. Hello <coughs> to everyone joining us. Very, very good morning, guys. Mark Smith, no worries at all. Steve Parker, Gary Webb, Ian Mahoney, Richard Brown, uh, Fabrice, hello to you from France, Terry Stapley. Uh, all landings, zero nines here this morning, guys. Gus W, Richard Brown, Ian Mahoney, Helen W, Kiko, Daniela, thank you so much, Daniela, for your support, means a lot. Thank you so, so much. So arrival zero nine this morning. Be the first ride that that speedbird uh, little baby bus turns off at. Steve Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning, mods. Hello, hello, hello. Jim Reddy, how are you doing? B747, lady crew. Good morning, guys. Very, very good morning. Hello to everyone on Facebook. Good morning. Cassie, good morning to you and Benji. Steve Kelly saying love the radar box info at the bottom of the screen. Absolutely brilliant. So we're on arrivals, guys. Uh, as yesterday, we're going to be keeping the uh, arrivals up 
on the screen. Should give you a real time bit of information on the aircraft that are turning up here this morning. But very good morning to everyone. Happy Saturday. Inbound with the Delta 330. And I to everyone on TikTok, uh, TikTok, Facebook, and of course here on the tube. Willis, happy Saturday to you, my friend. Hope you're doing fantastic. Carl Shaw. Hello to you. Wonderful sounds from the Delta Ray 330. Delta feels like I haven't filmed uh, zero 09 ox for what feels like an Delta 10. Everything's been on 27 over the summer. Hello, soccer lover. So, 040 degrees at 6, as you're hearing there, for the wind. Quite calm, actually, here this morning. Almost got that wintry vibe. Apparently, there's going to be some sunshine past 8 o'clock this morning, whether we believe that or not, we shall see. Apparently, it's supposed to be good anyway. Thank you, Terry Stapley. Looks uh, a lot better, doesn't it? Changed a few things around over there last night, so all good. Been back with a BA triple seven. thing Hello, Big Red. Yeah, it does definitely feel like a, a long time since we've we've called anything on zero nines. Definitely a weird uh, weird vibe. And with the American seven eight. Sounds. Hello, Lady Crew, Nick Horsley, uh, Agus Adonis. Hello to you, Flugel Shaft. Good morning, everyone joining us, guys. Miss some Sky Team. Hello to you. American 86, contact line 121905. Yeah. American 86, 121905. American 86. Hello, Debbie 13. Wathers. Uh, Billy Hemwiskey, November. You're kidding, land on my nine left. Wind off East for 86. Just getting used to uh, filming the zero nines again. Whenever the aircraft does want to turn up, Slim Jim. Yeah, a bit of a hazy one today. A bit foggy out. Apparently it's going to be clearing by uh, by eight o'clock. It's going to be sunshine today. Whether you believe that or not, guys, who knows? Hello, Andy Kemp.
beautiful to the right hand side as well. Hester Matson's and a bit foggy in Northampton as well. And a Mark Smith. Getting ourselves selling nice yeah, and uh, nice and easy. Hello to everyone on Facebook. Hope you're doing fantastic. Andy Kemp, hello to you. And now with a 350 next. Leave the Emeritus. Bit of a playing livery on the uh, Amaritius. Still looking beautiful, even though it is a bit, uh, a little bit plain. Pardon the pun. James Lang saying all the best from Scotland. Very hazy here this morning as well. Hello, Michael Singh. Beautiful. Someone was asking for the Emeritus guys, so there it is for you. I can't remember who was asking for it in the uh, in the chat. Uh, Gary Fellow saying uh, morning, Chris and everyone from Mallorca. All right, the sun, eh? Yeah, triple seven up next. Hello to you, Sean from uh, Rainy Cape Town. That's a blessing. I'll tell you what, the air bridges must be absolutely filthy in these uh, destinations where these aircraft come from. That air bridge stain always sort of lets down the, uh, the BA paintwork. Hello, London Cabby, Kevin Bowden. Good morning to everyone joining us, guys. Helen W. Contact on Reagan one, Farmer, six. hello to you. Mr. B, uh, Mr. BF, hello to you, Nick B. And Big Al. Hello, temperature in November. You are kit lands on my nine left. The wind is zero three zero at six. Yeah, Ian Finley, I think it was. I think it was about June time, the last time we had uh, 09 operations here. I mean, that's a long time. Normally, uh, during a normal summer, August would normally be the uh, the time when 09s are rife, but uh, not this year. Hello to Barbara Moore from West Yorkshire. And big Leo, Valerie. Quite a few aircraft in the stack in the back as well. Martin Gillibrand in Finley. There with the lifty. Bit of a wookie sound ever so slightly from the 320 Neos. Scott Shelcross, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. 
Yeah. Andrew Clark, Sam Morning, great show from Foggy South Wales. How are you doing, Andrew? Hello, John Vogel. And uh, Mr. Planey Aviation. I've got a. So this is a. This is a backup camera. This is a Sony AX53. It's an Alpha X-ray 53. And with a cheeky little shortbread. The Logan on a short hop. And my Hamas, uh, Hamerson, how are you doing? So small, it's lost behind the uh, the buildings. Yeah, Andy Marks, it does. I think it's, the, it's just the, uh, you can see the outline of the jet bridge, wherever they've been. Kieran Bailey, hello to you. I'm going to change over the batteries as well in a moment, guys, on the uh, on the radio scanner. Ah, they're already bringing round the Qantas A380 very early this morning, actually. Right, so a bit of our uh, star of the show. Just want to change over the batteries for the radio. Good morning, continue folks. And the big roo. Always special. Saturday morning. Bring that round ever so slightly. show. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Just what you want. There you go, Gary Fellows. I'm just off to breakfast, then off to the rooftop pool. The encoder doesn't seem to like to uh, have batteries changed over. It's very weird. I wonder if it's just potentially a setting that's uh, somewhere in the back there. But it's all good in the end. Let's get there. Zero. No, Mark Smith, everything was all right. It was just uh, it's just very weird. The encoder seems to have a bit of a uh, a bit of a geek. Like it sort of 
geeks out and it, it just can't seem to uh, get a few bits and bobs sorted when it's uh, when the batteries are changed over and when they're plugged in it's just very it's just very weird it's sort of uh, it's it freezes or it pauses when the batteries are uh, changed over it's a very weird thing Robbie Holden how you doing uh, Jeff Dix Nicholas Stokes hello to you yeah, it's just very weird when that uh, when that happens. Might be a setting. If anyone knows, uh, if anyone is a bit of a whiz with OBS, guys. Obviously, while I've got my laptop, can anyone tell me why? Or does anyone have an idea? Potentially, why? When I uh, when I change over the battery packs that it sort of spikes and it pauses. That's the problem that I've got there. So that's the last little gremlin that I've got to, uh, to deal with on there. So if anyone is a, uh, an OBS whiz kid, that would be great. I've changed all my power settings on, uh, on Windows. I doesn't seem to like it sometimes. Hello, Roger the Dodger. Yeah, it's very weird. It's like OBS has a bit of a spike when I, uh, when I change a few things around. Baby bus, looking beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful. We are still live on there. Everything. Very, very weird. Julie Richardson, hello to you. Chris Nielsen. peaceful vibe here this morning. Thank you, please. Yeah, Mark, it's, uh, as I say, every time I, uh, I go to change over the battery pack now, it's not the internet that's causing it, it's like the, uh, the software that I use to encode this, it pauses every time that there's, uh, it's like a power spike on there, but it shouldn't do that, so I'm wondering potentially if it's, if it's a setting with Windows. Uh, Gibraltar Aviation, I've got, uh, at start, I use the battery power and then I plug it into uh, the battery bank or into the, uh, the big battery source. But every time that the battery source runs down, it sort of uh, it freezes OBS for some reason. Everything else in the background works, but it, uh, it freezes it in the back. So it's very weird. It's like I can't change over the battery pack without a pause being, uh, being issued there. Uh, Jamie Lee McCulloch, everything's fine. Everything is all good in the UK. <coughs> so if anyone is a whiz kid. Okay, David Brown says sunny in Buckinghamshire. Yeah, from eight o'clock they said it was gonna be uh, a nice day apparently. Thank you, lady crew. Really appreciate it. Dual J350. Uh, last week it started appearing. 
and then obviously this morning that little pause that we've got it's nothing to do with the internet or anything it was just uh just like a surge yeah nick b i've got it i've got it running all in performance mode though even on the uh, even on the battery i'll change a few settings i'll uh i'll have a look into it it's definitely got to be something with the uh the cpu on there so i'll have a i'll have a look i've turned all the power savers off though it's very weird Yeah, Gibraltar. The only thing is, though, obviously with uh, with the laptop that I'm running and everything that's on here, it really rinses down the uh, the big old battery. It only lasts about two and a half hours on the battery. So I have to change them over sometimes. We shall see. Moon vlogs. How are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for doing that, Juliet. I'm morning and then continue approaching. Mism Definitely no glitch or buffer in here, mate. The sun's turning up now. the buttons thank you Leslie White all good stuff That's, hello Leslie McIntosh morning to you Jim just before eight o'clock here in the morning guys yeah Gibraltar as I say the, the only time it'll just be uh, when I do go to change the batteries around in about two and a half, three hours, guys. Obviously, the uh, the stream will pause for about 20 seconds just while it uh, it changes over. So once the battery packs run down, but we'll come to that when we uh, when we when we get there. Chris Newell, that is the next uh, that's the next step. To be honest, though, we don't really get much sun, do we? Especially over August. Beautiful Euro wings. Uh, Air Belgium looks stunning in the background over uh, over at T5. Sun is really starting to uh, blast through now. Right, and Beautiful. Andy Apps from Rygate, right, okay. how are you doing? Neil Guy from uh, Roma. We got the West London, oh, West London crew. Hello to you. Isn't that with a Swiss? Beautiful. Swiss A320 Neo. Right, 
right turn off. Ah, Flugelshaft. Chris Newell, I'll have a look into that. Rusty Wenzel. It's the benefits of social media. <laughs> Big red, we'll try to. The sun is really bright now, it should burn off all of this, uh, all of this fog. Hello Nancy, hope you're doing well. Bernice Thompson, hello to you. And now we're the American. Now see the heat haze, guys. The sun is really, really breaking through. It's going to be a lovely day, it looks like. And then 108, contact ground 121905. Good day. 121905, bring 108, good morning. Ian Blackwood. We have a look around, you can probably see. Just how bright and it's starting to become. Uh, thank you, Ian Finlay. Really appreciate it. John Claude, hello to you. Nancy, good morning. Aviation with Elliot, hello to you. It's nice to uh, it's nice to break it up with a bit of zero nine ops. David Brown, thank you. Very nice, Momo. You have to let us know uh, how your flight was. We're heading into uh, LCY. Joseph Dixon, good morning. And Alfred, I'm doing very well. Hope you are too. Hello, Caitlin. <coughs> no, Lady Crew and I've moved up as well. Uh, I'll give you a shot of what we've uh, we've got there. Hopefully there shouldn't be no uh, blockage of the trees now. I've got a better position up here on the uh, on the roof. I've moved about 20 foot down. Thank you, Rusty Wenzel. Really, really appreciate it, Rusty. Thank you so much. And Jean-Claude, thank you to you. Thank you so much for your support, guys. 
Inbound with a shamrock. Short hops from Ireland. Stunning. Lady crew, always a bit of luck with the uh, the Irish. Where is it? Losing the plane plane now. It's dropped me coffee everywhere. Remco Penning from the Netherlands, hello to you. Just going to move my coffee out of the way, guys. I don't want to spin it. Jamie Lee McCulloch, no worries. I'm down with the Iberia. Hello, Alexia24. Good morning to you. Welcome along, everyone joining us, guys. Jason Hartley. It's definitely a bit better. You can probably see I moved the. Uh... The other uh, weather radar from the bottom right hand side as well. And with the United. Sampa, hello to you. We've got the Qatar Tassi Sane arriving in five minutes. It's like VS10 as well, going to be arriving in two. Karen Darnmayer, saying good morning everyone, good morning to you. Yeah, 
Deviation rebellion. I think it just needs a. Uh, I'll have a look down at it. Uh, it's just updated. Might be, might be just a little bit slow with the update on there. Ah, there it is. There we go. It's updated itself. Perfect. Baby bus. Uh, Jamie Lee McCulloch, yes they do. 737s do land at Heathrow. Contact 121855. Good afternoon. 7855. Normally uh, lots KLM, uh, occasionally Air Canada. Uh, Andrew Stanbridge saying hi there, it's a lovely morning. It's not too bad. Definitely getting better. with a triple. Jackie PFC, Sam morning guys, first time here, well welcome along. Welcome to the, uh, the family. Andy Kemp, uh, Andy Kemp, thank you so much for your generosity, Andy. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Means a lot. And the Royal Emma Rocks, yeah. Mark Smith, I can't remember exactly uh, how busy it was. In regards to that. I'm sure it was in the top 10, wasn't it? No worries, Alfred. Should have the guitar turning up as well. Hopefully they're not going to send that 09 right. Fingers crossed anyway. Inbound with the Virgin Atlantic. Lovely red colour. No worries, Cassie. Thank you. Perfect. No worries. Enjoy. Navigate 51, European alarms on way 9 left with a 0407 knot. Aguas, complete butter machine. Nice to see. Should be able to get some nice uh, shots of the uh, departures as well over 09 right. Uh, I think pink, hello to you. Liam Cohen saying that was a butter landing. Smooth as silk from the old uh, VA pilots. So I'm just waiting on the next aircraft. Jim is saying the Qatar looks like it's going 09 right. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see much over there at the second. I hope it's not. It does make sense though for it to go zero nine right if it's going to uh, terminal four.
We'll still be able to catch the A380 though, guys, even though it is going nine right. Hello, Blackburst. Hope you're doing well. Contact ground one two one nine zero five. One nine zero five. Good day. Just under nine kilo alpha. You're taking a lamp on with nine left. We're not easterly at seven. Just under nine kilo alpha. Full hustle. Good morning, everyone on Facebook as well. John Bailey, not a problem. I know you've been uh, very much asking for the radar box and there it is, all in the bottom uh, left-hand side of the screen, guys. Currently on there, updating in real time the, uh, the arrivals. Obviously, so many arrivals coming into Heathrow, guys. That might be a little bit, uh, a little bit slower on the update, but it is there on the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the screen. Hello, Phil Sellers. Uh, George A350, it should be 100%. Ah, right, so, such a shame that the, uh, the second A380 of the show is going nine right, but I understand it. Heading out to Terminal 4, or heading down to Terminal 4, should I say. And there is the guitar. Absolute behemoth. Tim Moore, thank you so much, Tim. Really, really appreciate that. And just behind the fuel silos. And there she goes, guys, down to T4, rolling out. Oh, Sheila, thank you so much, Sheila. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Rebecca Froud, good morning to you. Where are you? Morning. Have a fab stream at Heathrow. Will do, Bex. I'll give you a, uh, a call when I'm finished up on the stream and on the, uh, on the way home. Hope you're doing well, though. Good morning. Phil Sellers, thank you so much, Phil. Really, really appreciate uh, appreciate that. Thank you so much for all your generosity, guys. Uh, Giggles Constantine, good morning to you. How are the Euro Wings? Hello to uh, Pamela Sam Waving from New Zealand. Good morning to you. All of a sudden, the uh, sun, uh, the sunshine seems to have gone out or gone away. Hello, Caroline Wright. Good morning to you. And uh, Austin, 4 5 Golf, your table lands on my 9 left, the wind is 0 4 0 5 0. Thank you, Mark. 
with the Austrian. That's a four out of bike and then continue approach. Even a lovely colour scheme on the Austrian. I've heard some good things about uh, Austrian Airlines. Has anyone ever flown them? And Austin 459 Good day. Outfit, so do I. This is 49 Mike, your kit alarm on my nine left, one not east for five knots. Five knots, very, very calm. Like another shamrock that's just uh, been landing on lime rice. That's quite busy here this morning. Looks like they've got uh, a few bits and pieces going on. You probably see the Aer Lingus. And there we go. A little bit uh, too small. Double Air Lingus. Mark O'Kane okay, saying you enjoyed your trips uh, with Austrian. Yeah, I've heard some good things. Same as Nors. I've heard some real good things about Nors and Austrian. Hello to you, Ferrang Travels. So, just waiting on the next one. There is four aircraft currently in the stack. Next aircraft to turn up here while we're uh, while we're looking over. Deborah Davies, good morning to you, and Lucas Anderson. Now have another Swiss. Hello to you, Judith. Good old Wookie. Uh, Nicholas Stokes, I did yesterday. As I say, it's just a, it's just a little error. Even the, uh, even the best of the best sometimes have uh, little things where things don't go to plan. Uh, Sheila Deary saying I live close to Heathrow, I'll try to come down on my birthday next Saturday. Well, happy birthday for next Saturday. Thing is, Nats never ever have a problem, and I've got nothing but respect for, uh, for Nats. Fortunately, some things may go wrong from time to time. the Euro wings. Hello Martin Organ. Good morning to you. Alpha, enjoy it. Yeah, Lucas Anderson, it's not going to happen, but it would be uh, it would be amazing. Zurich's a nice place. 
Actually, Jura is a great place. Uh, as you see by the stream that we've done uh, a couple of months ago, the viewing terrace that they've got there is just incredible. Especially when you've got the, uh, the A340 parked up in front of you. Grand Mead, thank you very much. Taylor, thank you so much for your support for 10 months. And hello to you, Tim Gardner, uh, and the Huntings, and hello. Oh, we've had a busy year this year, actually, with uh, the trips away. We'll start them up again around sort of November time, guys. A few places actually in Europe that I want to uh, I want to experience and share with all you guys. Uh, the hunker, yep. Every Saturday, every Saturday morning we are here on top of the, uh, the Hyatt Hotel. Tim Gardner watching from Bahrain. Pound thirty on the Euro Millions last night. Uh, three, three pound thirty is better than a kick in the teeth. So just waiting for the next arrival. Shuttle service from BA. Paul Hilbert, hello to you. Uh, Nicholas Stokes, I don't see any difference in uh, my commentary in the next 10 years. Everything should uh, pretty much be the same. A lot of the aircraft that we have uh, on the ground now are still going to be uh, flying in 10 years' time. Ronald El Dupre, thank you so much for your uh, 10 months. Really, really appreciate that. Well, that's what I'd like to hope anyway, that in 10 years' time, uh, the commentary doesn't differ. Viv Barlow, Sam watching from uh, Tasmania. <laughs> More of a, uh, a break with the inbounds at the second, guys. Just coming up to half past eight here in the morning. Wouldn't surprise me potentially if we've got a runway inspection due very soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, eight, 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 eight. 
United 7 6. Sheila, normally, uh, yes, we've had the Air France already in. Three, one, rolling out towards the tree. Davis, they're nice, aren't they? Thank you, Alfred. Neo. Smooth. Good morning to you. Uh, Michael Anthony, I don't uh, don't understand the question. See, there's no investing on this channel. We don't uh, we don't talk about investments or anything like that here on, on the channel. Such a peaceful vibe here this morning, guys. Really, really peaceful. Heavy 13, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie 13, yeah, even the mods need a break sometimes. It's nice for them to have a uh, lay-in on a Saturday morning. Uh, Julius Bauer Bauman saying hello there, hello to you. Hello, Mark Wilde from Warrington. Yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, now that's a bit of a special jet. Be a 
arrive in here this morning. Very nice. Okay, fair ball. Uh, the Hankin, you are correct. Legend 92, hello, continue approach. Surface wind 06 to 06 knots. Hello, Johnny Mill Harrison from Sydney. Hello to you. Lee J Sam watching from Shenfield while I send that train to Heathrow. Would prefer to be there. <laughs> How are you doing, Lee? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Good one, Air Canada. Canada. Hello, Try and Hunter. Hey, Canada, eight five six. Make uh, a first right, please, and then contact ground one two one decimal nine zero five. Take it at the first right one two one nine zero five. Canada, perfect. Beautiful. Train Hunter, and it does, my friend. Hello, Jamie Frank from Idaho in the US. Hello to you. So, Virgin 9-2. The radar box is a little bit behind this morning. Hello, we're all Rex. Perfectly down. Good morning to you. Is everyone joining us on Facebook as well? Legend 9 2, contact ground 121.905. Beautiful A350. Beaver 172, runway 09 left, clear to land, the surface wind 0607. Space last, 09 left, the third one, seven. BA777. Yeah, Hello, Jamie Frank
Hello Guy Howard, how are you doing? Hello, Diane Anderson. 172, contact ground, 121, decimal bone is 05. 747 is due this morning. Radar box should uh, any minute Between update itself 20 again, 20 guys. Sean Pasquale from East London, hello to you. Thank you, B747. Robert Johns, morning. Stephen Payne, so morning from uh, the wife Tara, Tara and Stephen enjoying a morning cup of coffee on the sofa. Good morning to you uh, both. Can you can take care, I'm Baz B, hello to you. So the radar box, just giving you some of the uh, the updates there, guys, for some of the heavies. That have just arrived. Now the seven eight, Robert Johns. Thank you so much. This morning, <clears throat> hello, John McKenzie. Hope you're doing well. Bit of a fight, so far, we contact ground one two one dash small nine zero five. Beautiful. So a nice bit of a face off there. Another seven eighty seven inbound. Hello, 
Hello Adnan from Sweden. And Zugi sent a beautiful uh, Finnair 350 as well to land in around 15 minutes. Christopher Johnson. Sounds like he's from good old Texas, the American pilot there. No, I don't know, she's there. Tina's just having a chill. Clyde W, you take care. An American 732. Adnan, sorry, uh, my apologies. From Sudan, how are you doing? My apologies, I thought you said Sweden on there. That was me just taking a quick glance down. Ground American 732 with you off 9 left. American 732, contact ground 121 decimal 905. Sorry about that. <laughs> I love that little thing, sorry about that. to tire smoke. Departure lounge, morning to you, mate. Uh, Frank, the broadcast doesn't freeze up all the time. This is running uh, smooth as silk here. I'm watching on my phone now of this uh, here, and it's running absolutely perfectly in 4K. Please stop for the uh, the VA 350. Glen Rivet, hello to you. Three mic hello, continue approach.
Uh, Frank, sometimes the uh, sometimes the buffer will occur, or the screen might go black, just as the power sources are being changed over. So when I uh, when I change from laptop battery to a battery pack, sometimes it might just uh, it might go sort of a black screen for 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah, obviously with the uh, with the power that we that we use now to uh, use these streams, I have to run through about two or three battery packs over a stream. It's very uh, very power heavy, should we say? Hello, Dorsey Aviator. Hope you're doing well. Fever one four kilo. Contact ground on one two one decimal nine zero five. One two one nine zero five. Two one four kilo. Bye bye. Nine zero. Thank you very much. <laughs> American 736, surface range 03, 36 knots. There was, uh, yeah, I 100% agree. While we, was, uh, while we was making these upgrades into all of this, uh, all of what you see on the screen now, there was uh, quite a few freezes and uh, things like that. American 78. There will be. We should have uh, departures very soon of A380s. Okay, Frank, it's about the nine o'clock, half past nine mark. Level three, Mike, close the line from way zero nine left, the wind is zero four zero six knots. Good line, uh, zero nine left. Thank you, Guy. Really appreciate it. As you can probably all see with uh, now what's on the screen and the quality that's sort of coming through here, guys. Took a lot of tweaking and a lot of perfecting to get to uh, where we're at. Twenty-one Neo. Level three, mate. Right Alpha. Contact ground. One two one decimal eight five five. Right Alpha. One two one eight five five. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Jensen. Yeah. Speed at eight one one. Clear to land. Runway zero nine left. Surface wind zero four zero five knots. Land nine left. Speed at eight one one.
departures are always fun though. So obviously as soon as we see the uh, the A380s heading down for departure on 09 right guys, we'll change over from the arrivals here 9 left and we'll uh, change over to 9 right filming for the departures for the heavies. So quite a few baby buses departing out just before the, uh, the heavies start heading out. John Bailey, thank you mate. And hello to you, John Bonner. Shows us aviation. Speedbird 19 Whiskey, close to land runway 09 left, surface wind 0405. No worries, Jeremy. Yeah, Paul, the, uh, the departures are definitely the best. Especially from this close up view as well, the way that we can uh, look at the aircraft heading straight past the, uh, the Heathrow Tower. Another A350 inbound. British Airways this time. Touchdown and roll out. Gate right, Davis, take one, care. Two one decimal nine zero five. Two one nine zero five, and uh, off the right. Eight zero five, ten seconds. Yeah, Sam, the heavy departures out of Heathrow are definitely the. Uh, Five ten three. Uh, hold short runway zero nine left. Was that routine crossing? Eight zero five, ten seconds. Routine crossing. Holding up ten five. Okay, thanks. Hold short, runway 09 left. Thank you, 7 8 Clear to land, 9 left. Surface wind 0405. Clear to land, 9 left, American now 46. Not a problem, Jim. Either 47 Charlie, continue approach. Surface wind 0405 knots. Loving the 09s, uh, the 09 operations this morning. American 46, thank you. Contact ground 121 decimal 9 is 05. 121 decimal 9 is 05, American 46. Discord Gaming. The only reason, as I say, that we've got the ATC running is because I spoke to Ofcom and we left everything in there, but I don't know, uh, I don't think they do, to be honest. Hello, Aviation Live. Jateman. 
To you, Alex. Three zero five. Hello. Continue approach. The wind is zero three zero four. Thank you, Aviation Live. I love departures, I'll be honest. Beautiful Finnair 350 up next. Votes for arrivals though. A lot of you guys seem to like the uh, arrivals here. I like the departures. I love the, uh, I love the filming of the departures and especially the banking shots. Uh, ground one two one decimal nine zero five. One two one nine zero five. In air three months in market. Six seven six nine nine with you. Pilot zero nine. Stand by. Break speed one one eight eight. Runway zero nine left. Clear for land. Wind zero four zero seven knots. George Derricax, how are you doing? Stephen Kettle, hello to you. And now with the 7 8. Sun is really trying to break through now, guys. Yeah, Nick Fishenden. Probably have plenty more of that over the next uh, couple of months. That Air Belgium is so nice.
Hello, Brian Morrison. Hello to you. The uh, Turkmenistans don't arrive here as far as I'm aware anymore. They was all transferred over to Stansted. It's called gaming, unfortunately not, no. All of the uh, 747s. Uh, unfortunately scrapped, including the Boak livery, which was a real shame. Yeah, Chris Newell is a great, great machine, isn't it? Felipe. And Captain Sharp, 21 from San Diego. Hello to you. People ask about the equipment that I carry. Some of the uh, equipment that I carry, um, all of the all of the setup that I've got here, probably weighs it weighs about 30, 32, 35 kilos. That's uh, some quite heavy stuff. And uh, yeah, the hunking. I will always try and engage with uh, you guys when we've got a when we've got moments. Once the, air, once the aircraft's touched down and come to a slow, like now, I will always try and uh, engage with everyone. Hello, Mark Smith. Yeah, Robert Johns, that was uh, criminal. A lot of people actually try to uh, get in touch with them people to try and save that aircraft. So there was a bit of, when they say that no one came forward, that's not entirely true. There was many aviation enthusiasts that wanted to save that aircraft, but emails went uh, sort of ignored, you know. Every 21 Neo. Captain Shark saying that also to watch uh, the big boys at Heathrow. Thank you so much for your generosity. Honestly, really, really appreciate your kindness. Thank you. And Nick H saying that, love the channel as always. Have a great day, everyone. Nick H, thank you so much for your generosity and kindness. Really means a lot to the channel. Thank you. Uh, the hunk in there is. We've got departures of the A380, but not until around about the half past nine mark. And then about 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock around that time, we have the arrivals uh, inbound. Hello to you, hoax. And the 
of G Boys and uh, good night from New Zealand. Quite surprised, guys. Ten past nine now, and uh, I've done my inspection at the second. The IB Area Ray 330. Yes, good morning from near Stonehenge. Playing spotter, hello to you. <laughs> Inbound with a seven six. Problem at all, hey Louise. We'll keep uh, an eye out. Okay. 
We're heading into T5. And with Scandinavian. Scandinavian would have turned uh, right straight away there, but... Uh, Lan and Palanco, hello to you. No, never flown Scandinavian. But once again, heard some uh, some good things about Scandinavian. Anyone has uh, flown SAS? Virgin 106 Foxtrot, the surface wind 0, 050 0 degrees, 6 knots. Runway 09 left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 09 left, Virgin 106 Foxtrot. Mark Smith, thank you very much for the kind words. Honestly, I really appreciate that. It's uh, very relaxing, actually, this morning, guys. It's a nice flow of traffic. It's not, uh, not too much. It's just, just right.
Queen Anne. United pilot there. Beaver 70 Quebec, runway 09 left, clear to land, wind 040, 6 knots. Land 09 left, Beaver 70 Quebec. East Anglian, and over to our delay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really good. More heavy starting to turn up now. It's all good. It's hard to explain the, uh, the passion and the love of aviation to uh, to people that are new to, to aircraft. But watching aircraft for some is like watching, I don't know, a cooking show for others, you know? Everyone has their uh, their favourite uh, favourite type of watch, you know. Uh, Adam, I oh, did that. I don't know. Have they got? Uh, did they get the pay rises? So got an aircraft inbound there. It doesn't look like. Oh no, there is an aircraft in the stack a few miles out. Hello to you, Alley Cat. Hope you're doing well. GRF, hello to you. Welcome along to the channel. Glad you're enjoying. Oh, the jet blue. Shannon doing very, very well. 
Lots of emergency services out this morning. Thank you, guys. And what, really? Ian Jones. <laughs> A lot of these aircraft have actually arrived a lot quicker than what they're, what they're scheduled for. Well, not earlier. Hello, Ray G. Sam, morning all. Morning to you. Andrew Stanbridge, thank you very much, my friend. Hey, we 
Richard Minton saying hello to you. Good morning. Hello to you, my friend. Hello to you, Sarah. Really warm now that the sun's uh, made an appearance. The surface left, zero, five, zero degrees, eight knots. Runway zero, nine left, clear for land. Land left, clear land, that's one, two, six. Carrick and Travels, saying hi. Hello, Terry Stapling. Another A350. A350's galore here this morning. Redmond and Redmond, it's a better uh, better vantage point, isn't it, for zero nines? Tire smoke. Hello to you. Inbound from all land. David Minter, so thank you both for the greetings. Not a problem at all. Uh, Spencer Churchyard. I'd the thing is, you can only go to the mound when they're on zero nines. Uh, the last time they was on zero nines, here was, I think it was about June time that we had uh, broadcasted on a Saturday, so it's the only time that we can uh, really use it. Ian Jones, incredible, isn't it? It's, yeah, wow. Thank you so much to everyone that's newly subscribed here. And now with the 7 6. Hello, Darren Smith. Hello to you. Seven six. Hello, Fred Vanals. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yes, this is the Hyatt Hotel, guys. Hyatt Place. The mound is fun, but you get everything here, you, you're able to see every single uh, bit of detail. Hello Janice, how are you doing? Yeah Richard, it's it's nice when they're uh, when they're on that, on 09s. Hello uh, Jack Richards, thank you so much. Dynamo D. Morning to you. I have another SAS. Following six hotel Yankee, number four, continue approach. Love them, uh, that orange detail on the engines. So colourful. Thank you, Catherine Green. Really, really appreciate it, Catherine. 
Inbound with a lock, 737. Whoa. Whoa. Wind blowing him about just a little bit there on his uh, arrival. Bit of correction. Thing with Heathrow, it can be very, it can be very hard to spot sometimes, and to get beautiful views like this. This is why we always, always promote the Hyatt. They've been so, so good to our channel. So anyone that was asking about the 737s, there is your 737 right there, an inbound with the lock. Focus on the 737. There's the air mortar. Winds are quite calm at the minute. Beautiful Air Baltic. Michael Selwyn, how are you doing? Beautiful. So as soon as we get the runway inspection, I'm going to finish up my coffee, I reckon. Oh, Catherine, the uh, uh, the pods. Is that what you're talking about? The pods. They're to the car park. They go from. Uh, a car park to Terminal 5. Four 
Panzer 902, surface wind 030 degrees 7 knots, from with your 9 left, clear to land. Well, that's still there, more than one of the auto. Yeah, 20 to 10. Wow. Where is this morning gone, guys? I wonder if you can see yeah, the approaches. See some of the aircraft heading over the top of the high roof. Michael Selwyn, enjoy. And bam with the Lufty, classic colours. Hello, Paul G. Smith. Beautiful, American triple. live agreed and over 700 likes thank you so much for your support here this morning guys really means a lot Sav saying the engines on the triples are the beast they are Shamrock. Not a problem. So we are here every single Saturday. We have been for a, wow, a long time now. John McKenzie, brilliant stuff. Asso Basso is. Uh, 7.87.
Yeah, Mark Smith, a little bit of wind. You can probably see that on the aircraft that are uh, touching down. It's a little bit of uh, a little bit of wind, a little gust, ever so slightly. You can see the corrections that the pilots are making. Uh, Lady Crew, yes, that is correct. I thought it was 90 minutes. I thought it was 90 minutes. But I may be wrong. Grant W76, how are you doing? Frank, Delta 18 from Wizard Island left, clear to land, Wizard 06, 0 degrees 6 knots. Clear to land, 09 left, Delta 1-8. Beautiful. In that with the Delta Ray 330. Hello, Delta 8 from Alpha, Andy Vaughan, thank you so much for your support. Thanks very much. Contact round now 121 decimal 9 Beautiful. So, next aircraft. Just slightly and momentarily out of view, just as it goes. Behind the hotel. Arnold, thank you so much for your support as well. Guys, it's been incredible here this morning. Coming up to 10 to 10 here. And E. Peterson saying a tip for letting me enjoy my airline Delta arriving. Thank you, E. Peterson. Thank you so so much for your uh, your kindness and your generosity. Really means a lot. Happy Saturday. Thank you so much. Really means a lot to the channel. Thank you. The 63 Victor Papa surface wind 060 degrees 7 knots, runway 09 left, clear to land. Clear to land, clear left, clear to land. Big Al, thank you so much to you, Big Al. Thank you all guys. All your generosity really just uh, keeps the channel going. Thank you so much. Again, the Delta A330 taxiing up. We're heading into T3. Station T3, 
Heathrow broadcast, new Q&H 1020, new Q&H 1020, sir. So, new Q&H, bit of a pressure change. Thank you. We're six three weeks to cover set right and alpha and contact ground one two and left eight five five four. Sheila, do you sound I'd love to fly to Los Angeles, but being a diabetic can happen to an insulin. Yeah, yes, Sheila, of course they would. Of course they would. Uh, Catherine, yes, of course. Um, looking to sort of head back uh, abroad over to Europe, probably around October, November time. Uh, Sam, it will be right here at T3. Normally, cafe or uh, out of Santa. I haven't even seen the cafe uh, <coughs> aircraft at all this morning. So, yeah, if you do have any uh, pre existing medical conditions, British Airways will always, uh, you'll always be allowed to fly with that. Um, the only thing I would say to you is obviously just take your prescription or just take a doctor's note, uh, something along them lines, and you're absolutely perfect to fly. Many, uh, Many people fly with pre-existing medical conditions, so uh, you're all good. Yeah, Mark, don't forget your insulin though. That's, that's the thing, if you're gonna make that flight, just make sure you don't forget it. Right, so there's a Delta. Looks like it's gonna be... Ah, Mark Smith. So that should be potentially going into stand 336, the Delta. Might get a lovely shot of that parking up. EP, it's not a problem. I'll uh, D more. Well, I hope there's a heat wave. Fingers crossed. Hello, Aviation Geek. No, Mark O'Kane, exactly. One thing I would say, though, obviously, if you do uh, if you do travel and you have got your insurance, guys, always uh, always declare your pre-existing medical condition because uh, sometimes they can get. If anything does go wrong, they'll get a bit iffy. Right, so we'll keep an eye. Just while we've got an A320 pound, keep an eye on this uh, Delta A330 taxiing into stand 336 right in front of us. This is another one of my favourite shots as well. I always love watching the uh, the aircraft pull up to, to gate and with the electronic marshaller. It's always nice to see. Continue approach after that, vacate altitude. Might be a bit, little bit shakier because we've got the uh, full, full zoom on there.
Ali Mohammed, not a problem. Thank you for uh, choosing to join us. Point two stop. There we go. Love that. Always able to uh, zoom in. As you can probably tell, though, guys, guys, the uh, that's quite a far. Uh, it's quite far away from here. Love the gate shot. Catherine Green, do it. Enjoy it. Bound to lift it. Right, Emirates A380 now taxiing out for departure for Nime Right. Very few Hello, continue approach. Beautiful. Right, so now that we know that the Emirates A380 is heading out for departure, guys, we'll be transferring over to Nine Right for some of the departures. Just had the battery changed, I believe. Now there may be a runway inspection in progress because it looks a little bit quiet now on the inbound. So I'm going to have a little sip of coffee just while we're working on that. Batteries have now been changed three, three, over. And I'm just going to plug in the camera battery and why not, eh? that beautiful so that'd be nice to see some departures as well of the heavy aircraft Susanna, we've got quite a good a, a good view here of like the electronic, like some of the the gates over there at, uh, at T3. We've got a real good shot of uh, of some of them sometimes. E. Peterson saying there's a delta ramp work. Well, I used to think that brown streak on the bottom was oil, but I learned it's got to be dumped. <laughs> Love that. Got over 800 likes. Thank you so much, guys. So actually a little bit, I'll tell you what, we'll keep our eye on a little bit of ground, ground movements at the second, just while we're waiting for the next aircraft in. Tony G saying, uh, well Tony G saying, uh, great coverage, SDTV, love this show. Thank you so much, Tony. It's got that nice, chilled out vibe here at Heathrow now this morning. Alfred saying the, uh, the Etihad A380 will be out soon as well. Perfect. So obviously we will change over to 09 right for departures. Family Iberia. Looks like the One World special livery on that. Right 
Alpha Bravo 1855. They pass away. Hello to you. Good morning. 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 Good Does look like the arrival slowing down just that little bit. They've been busy from about six o'clock this morning. I believe it was 10.30 for the BA A380 that's turning up here. So it should be on nine left, we hope. red that Virgin have got that color is just such a, a lovely shade of red and Madeira aviation spotting thank you Brandon for that spotting Virgin 454 contact ground on 12 and left 19 in 05 right <laughs> 1905 Virgin 454 thanks and pushing back at 350 166, okay, runway 09 left, clear to land, surface with 060 degrees 7 knots. Hello, Fifties galore here. Ah, so that is Seagull, so that is the uh, ground ops, so they will be doing a runway inspection in a moment as well. James Gutchner, hello to you from South Central Texas in the US. Hello to you and good morning. Good morning, number two, continue approach. Sam agreed, it's definitely a beautiful machine, isn't it? Virgin A330 Neo. Okay, we're surface wind 060 degrees 6 knots, runway 09 left, clear to land. 
the park and it may be the A380 heading out next. I can't see it because it's just behind one of the satellite terminals over there at T5. So 777 has just departed. We'll keep an eye. Ah, and there it is. Very, very early actually, that A380 there. Good afternoon, Peter. Hello, Peter. And the right turn. We're at 9 Echo Whiskey, turn right on Alpha and contact ground on 121 Decimal 9 Echo Whiskey. Right, turn Alpha 12195, thank you, 209. Take care, James. Up very, very early, the A380 there. 725, surface wind 060 degrees 6 knots, from which you're going left, clear to left. This is that, you're going left, you're going left, you're going left. Probably just going to lose sight of the A380 in the clouds, and she's gone. Hello, Mrs. Freddie Mercury. How are you doing? Hope you're doing fantastic. Just sit down. Follow the company seven eight seven eight eight eight. Follow the seven eight. Seven eight. Okay, no worries. I'll keep. Uh, well, I was just looking down at that. I'll keep a lookout. I've got the Golf Air currently in front of me. The seven eighty seven. It's just uh, <coughs> taxiing down. Three nine seven Delta Victor. Surface wind is zero eight zero degrees eight knots. Runway zero nine left. Clear to land. Clear to land. Nine left. Be bird. Nine seven Delta Victor. Seven two five. Thanks very much. Jefferson, hello from Nairobi. Emirates is a really big airline. Couldn't give you. I don't know to be honest. It's a good question. I'll probably say Qantas, maybe, because it's a it's more established airline. Hello, continue approach. I'll find that out. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that question. That's a real good question. Dave Hussway, thank you so much for your generosity. Really, really appreciate it, Dave. Thank you so much. And just like a shark, there is the Etihad A380. Taxiing out for its departure. 
today back to Abu Dhabi or Abu Dhabi whichever one you uh want to go with Orans and hello. Paul G. Smith, thank you so much, Paul. Thank you for your uh, your kindness. And there is the Etihad. Really busy, still no runway inspection. Hello, Isabella R. American 98, surface wind is 070 degrees 6 knots, runway 09 left, clear to land. 09 left, clear to land, American 98. So, a nice couple of uh, nice couple of heavy departures we've got to look forward to. Smooth as silk for the American. Hello Lee Harris. reverse there by the American pilots hello Richard Taylor American 136 hello continue approach American 98 contact ground on 121 decimal 9 ground on American 98 1341, surface wind is 080 degrees 6 knots, runway 09 left, clear to land. Command that left, 1341. Sorry, the Etihad slowly making its way down. Hello to Mick Wilkinson, Sam Morning, all from Guernsey. Hello to you. Might be able to get some of my coffee in a second. Looks like it's slowing down just momentarily. Ten thirty is the first A three eighty arrival that we see here, or the second that we see here on zero nine left. Ah, right, ten before events saying uh, the BA A three eighty is currently in the Bovenden hole. Uh, random plane spotter. I like zero nine uh, left arrivals, and especially from this vantage point, you get a better uh, a better view. Alpha 
Nick Knight say can't function without coffee. Yeah, mine's been on the side. I haven't even had time to uh, to have any this morning. I was waiting for the runway inspection, which just doesn't seem to have uh, occurred. Duncan, thank you very much for your kind words. Thank you, Guy. Always would have said Qantas just because uh, Qantas are older. I'm going to have a sip of coffee now, guys. It's uh, still full. I need some. Man with the tap. Seeing the Shenzhen there. Beautiful. <clears throat> Ten before event. Thank you. Oh, what's? How are you doing? Thank you, Brandon, playing spotter. <clears throat> Waiting for the Etihad A380. Be about four or five ah, right, four or five minutes now until the, uh, the runway inspection. Perfect. Been a busy morning so far, guys.
seven, leaving the Charlie seven right on Alpha and contact round at one two one seven one eight five five right. And Alpha one two one eight five five six seven Charlie. Clear into one two nine. Assess between the zero five zero degrees five knots. From with zero nine left, clear to land. Clear to land. Zero nine left. Clear to land. We're going to lose her just like we did the other A380. Well, I think you will, yes. From my turn on left, land after the vacating 787. The wind is 040 degrees 6 knots. And there she goes. Uh, Glenn Rivet, thank you so much, Glenn. Really appreciate it. Take care. VA 777. And I can now see the BA A380 in the background. You'll be able to see it. No, it's gone just behind. So next up, the A380. the beast. <clears throat> it's got a bit of a float, went down. This is Freddie Mercury saying love Heathrow. Aviation live, yep. Do you know what? I miss the 74. Of course, the AVASM Bosch. Oh. Right. Hopefully yeah, after the next aircraft runway yeah, inspection five, time, which means... Pushing back to the Qantas 7-8 over there. P-1-2-9, 
beautiful stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> KLM 737. And then a bit of a pause. So coming up to, or just gone, 25 past 10 here in the morning. Andrea DE, hope you're doing well. Playcase Alpha 8, contact ground 121-19 no, and Alpha 8, 1, 1, 9, 5, And a BA 787. Uh, coming up to noon, that's the, uh, the last hour of the stream soon. A two point interest out, hello, continue approach, just to come in number one. Thank you, Alfred and Gillian. Uh, what's the same? Really enjoying watching Heathrow. Not a problem at all. Here every single Saturday. Seven six. Kay Louise, not a problem at all. My pleasure. And the second A three eighty, just behind the United. Just 
people don't know. Nah, you might not be able to see it, guys. It's a little bit behind. Uh, Mark's trying some planes. Thank you very much. Uh, we feel from the Hyatt, the Hyatt Hotel, or the Hyatt Place Hotel here on Bath Road. Hello, uh, David Allen. Uh, I won't be going on Sunday, no. I'll just be watching it. Arnard, we're here every single week. We uh, we plug this hotel like mad. And these guys here have been so, so good to us at the hotel. Here's the link guys so anyone that wanted it I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna pin that if I can so that is where we are currently at guys the Hyatt Hotel as we always do and the Tintin livery Brussels Airlines Uh, oblivious I'm more of a uh, I'm a Boeing man in all fairness well just because of the 747 really uh, really liking what Airbus are doing at the moment A lovely wheelie by the United. Uh, 
And Dean Kerber saying, Patty and I are here in the UK again. Uh, staying, staying bought and watching another great show. Thank you. Thank you very much to both of you guys. Honestly, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your, uh, your kindness and generosity. And obviously, thank you for the kind words. Glad you're enjoying the show. Absolutely brilliant. Hope you're enjoying your time here. Uh, also, want to say thanks to Alfred. Alfred's heading off now, so thanks, Alfred, for all your uh, all of the info that you've posted up all this week. Have a great time, mate. So uh, we'll see you again soon. It's a bit of a round of applause for Alfred there for all of his uh, information all over the uh, all over the week. Oh, Richard Taylor, we're not we're not finished yet. As I say, we don't finish up until about half past eleven. Yeah, we're not finished yet. So reports of them birds that are flying uh, over the touchdown point. Okay. Uh, David Allen, I probably will do. It's rude not to. Not a problem, Richard. All good, my friend. Yeah, we're not finished yet, my friend. Ooh. Yankee surface with zero, five zero so the Air Belgium's just pushed. Been a lovely shot of that departing nine right. See you later, Alfred. Enjoy, my friend. Hello, Samantha Vigo. Another A350. Richard, don't worry. <laughs> I got Special livery, Ken, uh, Kenya Airways. Taxing down for nine right. Uh, big scrounger, yes, uh, Lufthansa. Lufthansa still use the 74. Uh, and a few other carriers as well. I think, I think Korean use them. Mike 
Andy, thank you so much. Samantha Vega, no worries. Love Hans delivery. Uh, Redmond and Redmond, no, no more A340s. Not for a long time now. To, uh, nice to think. Be nice to see it. Dalla Matteo, how are you doing? Delta <clears throat> 3, surface wind 0, 050 0 degrees, 9 knots, runway 09 left, it's left. Delta 3, clear to land, runway 0, 09 left, thank you. Uh, Shade here is. Richard Taylor, we have got the uh, the chat is in a uh, thing called slow mode. It's in slow mode, so it makes you wait about 30 seconds. It makes you wait 30 seconds before you uh, you post something on there. And the only reason that's done is just because we're uh, it gets very very congested in the chat sometimes, and sometimes we miss uh, some bits and bobs. Uh, there's the JAL. Hello to you, Sally Mott. Hope you're doing well. Uh, there's Lacto Pavlov from Bulgaria. Hello to you. Lots of American flights in. Very, very busy. Uh, 
almost like a day in the States. Arnold, thank you so much, Arnold. Send how many Qatar flights in Heathrow? Four? Is it three of them? Uh, Reese Allen, yeah, we're not going to be, uh, obviously we're not going to head to uh, to Manchester. There's a lot of people streaming up there, guys, so uh, I think that's pretty much well covered. So, uh, obviously that's not on the cards for us. There's a lot of, uh, lot of people up there. So, uh, we, won't be, uh, we won't be heading up there, guys. Thank you so much, Deborah Davies. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Arnold. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's well covered up there in the north, guys. So it's uh, we're mainly here in the south. We cover everything around here. Very lucky, actually, with the airports we got around London. be my place to go I'd love to uh, go there yeah Steve Parker the thing is we, we tried and it was it was great free marketing for uh, for LTN but they just didn't want to know so it's like I can't we've got to go on what they say you know hello Dara Yeah, I did like Luton. Michael 
Michael Smith, hello to you from Germany. Deborah Davies, take care. Qatar 380 now, taxiing out for departure. <laughs> During the war. Hello, Gail. Who's in the air, Belgium behind the buildings. Yeah, Marco Kane. Liverpool's like uh, South End. Sounds from the American. The ground on one two one decimal nine is zero five two eight. Okay, let's go on. or just gone 5 to 11 here. Great morning so far, guys. Yeah, Michael Smith, they are. Between all of them airports, or all of the airports that we visit, we always, regardless, every single week, catch something new. There is always something new that pops up on our radar somewhere. Stansted has been a, uh, a bit of a treasure trove late, as of late. Phil Broad, so holiday vibes Grand Canaria on Thursday. Thank you so much, Phil. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for your generosity. Have a great holiday. Hello to you, Rob Guess. 
I wonder though if the Emirates, uh, the Emirates Triple Seven cargo. I wonder if they'll potentially put that 09 right. It would make more sense. Uh, no, Gal, the tube is uh, the Piccadilly line, but uh, you'll be best off to get the Elizabeth line to Terminal Five. The Elizabeth line is really, really quick. A really, uh, a really quick, a really quick train. Uh, Biggie B2000. Really calm actually here this morning. Little gusts of wind. Paul Freeman say Chris. Oh really? No worries Sylvia. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Obviously if you are heading off now guys and you're uh, going to enjoy your weekend. We hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for uh, joining us from about seven o'clock this morning. We try not to take too much of your time up on a Saturday morning. Uh, Gal, yes you can. The uh, Elizabeth line stops at Paddington. Uh, it also goes all the way through. Um, you can also go towards sort of like Liverpool Street and and places like that, but Paddington would be your uh, your train uh, your change there for the Elizabeth line, really quick. Alan, it really is amazing, isn't it? Redmond and Redmond, you take care. Have a great weekend. See, thank you so much, guys, for everyone uh, joining us this morning. Nice and early on a Saturday. And then by the time we finish, you can all go and uh, head off and enjoy your day. Ah, and the Emirates, right, so they are. What's arriving 09 left? Ah. He said, don't get any housework done. <laughs> Dave Husswaite, thank you so much, Dave. Honestly, really, really appreciate your generosity and kindness. Freddie Mercury, brilliant. Joe Carullo, hello to you. BA777.
Virgin 2-0, Victor Tanner, good day, continue on Pax 1, Major 9, on left number 2, and uh, surface rate 0, 5, 0 degrees, 5 knots. 0, 5, 0 degrees at 5 knots, the wind there. Hello to you. All good, Paul Freeman. Just push back the Delta A330. Thank you, Paul. To all of you with the kind comments. Virgin 787. Coming up to a thousand likes as well. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Cooper saying in 10 days time I'm going to be uh, on an A380 the first time to experience the beast absolutely incredible I hope you enjoy every minute of it it is a very very comfortable machine Susanna Bentley how are you doing Jeff W, thank you so much, Jeff. Uh, Echo 45 saying, can you give a shout out to Archie, please, who is four and currently watching the live. Hello to you, Archie. with the MEA. Six minutes past 11 here. United 923, Tower, good day. Continue on flight to runway 09 on left number three. Surface wind 0, 5, 0 degrees, 9 and
Jeff W, I can't thank you enough for your support. Thank you so much, Jeff. Two, 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 one, take eight, first right turn, and then left on Alpha. Okay, Joss. Thank you, Jeff. No worries, Susanna. Come up and say hello when you're uh, when you're up there next. We hit over a thousand likes. Thank you so much for all of your support today, guys. Incredible, incredible numbers. <coughs> I do like the MEA. I've got a lot of time for the livery. Is that the, is that the is cedar wood on the back? Yeah, that's beautiful. Stunning, guys. Go to Rayfree 30 taxi now. Belly 20, how are you doing? Three tower, good day, continue approach runway 09 left, number two, surface wind 06, 0 degrees, 5 knots. Shuttle 1 through hotel, right, Alpha, contact ground on 12 dash 85. Baltic heading out and about. Right, Alpha, 1 to 1, 8, 5, 5, shuttle 1 through hotel, good day. United 9 2 3, clear to land on runway 09 left, surface wind 06, 0 degrees, 5 knots. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mrs. Freddie Mercury loves the uh, love delivery, the cedar tree. Beautiful. Oh, Paul Freeman, it's, it's amazing to see. And United 787. Bit of a float. Down. Yeah, for departure. Such a variety here today, guys. <coughs> Incredible variety of aircraft, aircraft that we've had here this morning, guys. <clears throat> Hello, Jamie Pickles. One of the other prey. Climbing away. <clears throat> and a beauty. And also is the Kuwaiti. Not knowing where to turn, always a good sign. Lee Claxton, if the pilots flew with the wheels down, they wouldn't get very good uh, speed or fuel economy. It, the landing gear produces a lot of drag. Stay 
Lovely, lovely Kuwaiti. Stunning machine. Definitely something about the uh, the Neos, or well, the 313 Neos. Yeah, Marco Kane, they do, don't they? All the Middle Eastern carriers have uh, a very, they've got a very nice sort of Larry livery. I like it. Uh, Echo, this is the top of the Hyatt Place Hotel. Unfortunately, this part is not open to the uh, the public at the moment. Lady Crew sound lovely blue on the Kuwait. It's really nice, isn't it? Especially with a bit of sun shining on it. Hello, Tony Rivers. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Martin Organ. Yeah, Mark, they do. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> the A triple. Another pressure change. Uh, Echo 45, you'll probably be better off with Myrtle Avenue. The Myrtle, Myrtle Avenue will be the safest place, uh, but you've got to be going there obviously when the, uh, the aircraft are arriving on uh, 27 left. Quiz. This is a, an amazing spot. As we say every week, we are so uh, so thankful to the amazing guys here at the Hyatt that allow us to broadcast for uh, four or five hours on a Saturday morning. It's just uh, incredible. It's nice to see as well some of you uh, some of you folks using the Hyatt as well for your uh, your travels. No worries, Benny. Tina, that's when we're uh, that's when we're ending up anyway. Hello to you, Chris. Good no morning, all. Degrees. 
So coming up to the last, about 14 minutes of the show, guys. And what a show it's been. Thank you, Arnard. It's, uh, it's been a long, long journey, hasn't it? Beautiful with GM. Wow. Benny, that's incredible. Yeah, Barbara Moore, that's that's the thing. Heathrow can be a very it can be a very hard one to spot at. That's why when you uh, when you've got a beautiful view like this, you uh, you always a humble with what you've got. PA Fly 65 saying thank you from Reading, uh, PA in the US, not a problem at all. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in and enjoying the Saturday. Beautiful Aegean. And it's looking like quite a succession of baby buses now heading up. Or heading in, shall we say. <coughs> Yeah, Mark. Very, very lucky. Yeah, John Bolland, I can, I can smell everything from up here. I can occasionally get a whiff of uh, tyre smoke as well. Or the burning rubber from, uh, from Zero Nine. As Mark says, ticks all the boxes. Beautiful Swiss Wookiee. Hello, Amanda Harrison. So coming up to the final, uh, the final few minutes, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a look. China Eastern. Great variety here this morning, as it always is on a Saturday morning. Loco, Loco saying this is helping my hangover. Stream's been uh, touch wood. Stream's been good as gold today. Not a problem at all. Everything's run absolutely smooth as silk. Brandon playing spot, not a problem. Right, so the next aircraft we're going to do uh, is the last one, guys. And then obviously we've got to pack up and uh, run from there. Thank you, John Bolland. I want a way to end the show.
and so three poppers on the go now. This is the first one, thank you, stand in this place. Okay. You know, it's fine, pop the man on one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, And lost in the clouds. What a way to end the show. And I believe that was, I think that was the United. Was that the United 787 that caused that? Because it was, uh, it was still on the runway, I believe it was. Yep. The, uh, a lovely American flyby for the uh, for the viewers. Absolutely incredible stuff. Uh, Amanda, yes, we are uh, we're here at Heathrow every single Saturday morning. Uh, we have been for the past, oh, I don't know, nineteen months now, twenty months maybe. Thank you, Jim. Thank you all. Right, so the Air India. Bit of a float and last one down. And then we've got a bit of a break. In the aircraft vision thing, our pleasure. So, there we go then guys. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant stuff. Fantastic. So, stream ran without any problems and in beautiful, beautiful clarity. I hope you've all enjoyed the new updated and upgraded 4K Ultra HD version here of Heathrow on a Saturday morning. Uh, first of all, wanna obviously say massive thank you to the mods. You guys are incredible as normal. Um, couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much guys for all your hard work and persistence. Honestly, it is great. You've been there through the thick and the thin. Thank you so, so much. Um, wanna say a massive, massive thank you to the wonderful folks here at the Hyatt Place Hotel uh, on Bath Road once again for allowing us to broadcast our early morning show uh, here on this beautiful, beautiful vantage point um, overlooking LHR. Um, thirdly, I wanna say thank you to every single one of you, uh, you lovely, amazing people that are now newly subscribed, um, newly following the page over there on Facebook, everyone that's hit the, uh, the like button. Uh, and of course, thank you to everyone sharing um, and every single one of you that very, very kindly donated to the channel. We, uh, we thank you so much here at the channel. It just really helps us keep going and uh, it just helps us keep progressing and moving forward at that fantastic fast pace. Um, and yeah, obviously a massive, massive thanks from me, guys. You've kept us uh, company all week and it's been another fantastic, fantastic uh, week here once again obviously I'm gonna pack up now I'm gonna take my uh, my slow drive back to Essex and then I might even have a cheeky beer I think while I'm watching a bit of the football um, and just got to enjoy the rest of the afternoon obviously we're gonna be back on Wednesday at Stansted Airport guys uh, so hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna get a ton more different aircraft and different types to kick the streaming a week off but other than that guys i'm not going to keep you too much longer i hope you have a fantastic fantastic weekend so wherever you are enjoy it we'll see you again next week take care guys see you all soon <laughs>